Good morning, everyone. So I've had a lot of people asking me about how to change your My It Works account to a GoDaddy. Um, that way you can put it on Facebook. So I'm actually going to walk through it right now on how I did it. Um, I saw somebody else do a video, and I thought it'd be great if I created one for you guys. So I just typed in GoDaddy coupon, and I found one right here. It says $99 or $0.99. Cents. So I'm just going to click on that. It's going to bring up the GoDaddy um, page, and you're going to search for the domain. Type in, I would recommend your name. So, for instance, my GoDaddy website name is just sandydurry.com. So, I'm going to look up for my husband. I'm going to do chaddurry.com, and we're going to look go, hit go, and it's going to look to see if it's available. And it is chaddurry.com. It's available. And I'm going to add it to my cart. And then we're going to hit continue. And this is a two year term. I recommend going two years. You actually save a little more the further out you go. It's only $27.98 for a two year contract with the GoDaddy. And then um, continue to your cart. You don't need any of this other stuff. Just hit no thanks and move on. You, um, so his is gonna be chaddurry.com for two years. If you don't wanna go two years, you can change it, but two years you save a little more. And then you're gonna proceed to checkout and then you're going to fill in all of your billing information and um, the username and PIN number that you want, password, and then the debit or credit card that you're paying with or if you're using another form, and then hit continue. And then you're going to, um, that'll check you out, and then you'll be emailed your receipt. Save this receipt. It is a tax deduction because it's a business expense. And then once you have paid, then you can log in what I'm getting ready to do here. So now I just went to GoDaddy.com and I clicked login and here's where I'm at. I'm in the login screen. So I'm going to log into the computer. Now to mask your ItWorks account through your new domain name, this is going to come up and you'll see domains. Come over here to launch and launch the domain you just purchased. You'll see it here. Mine says sandydurry.com. There's a little drop down arrow. I want you to hit the drop down and you're going to forward your domain. So click on forward. And um, ask you to um, add in what you, the information that you want uh, for your website. They'll ask you to add it. So when you open this, I put in the sandydurry.myitworks.com. I just copied and pasted the URL from the ItWorks account. So I copied and pasted it there. Um, I have the 301 permanent. And do your drop down, and you're going to pick masking, because you're masking it so Facebook doesn't realize that it's an ItWorks account. And then give it a title, because when I type in on my Facebook, if you guys have seen it, if I put in visit my website, sandydurry.com, it's going to do a little description, and it's going to say I'm an Indiana rap mom. And then it does it has a description. Hi, my name is Sandy Dury, and I'm an, it, I'm an It Works distributor. Do you want to try this crazy rap thing? Contact me. And then some keywords in case somebody's looking for a particular website. My keywords are skinny, wrap, health, weight loss, stay at home, make money debt free. You can put as many things in there as you want. And then um, you will just click um, save when you're done. I haven't changed anything, so uh, mine's good. And then you hit save. And then give it about, um, about an hour to two hours. And then it, it, GoDaddy will have linked your ItWorks account to your GoDaddy account. And then all you have to do then at that point is when you're on Facebook, for instance, here I'm going to say new website just launched. Check it out today, www.sandydurry.com. And I'm going to hit post. 
it didn't do it for me, but usually it does like this little drop down and it gives a little example. Um, let me try it again for you one more time. One. I think I did it yesterday. Let me show you guys yesterday. Oh my God, I'm never going to find it. But basically, it's going to be. Right there. So when you go to type it in, like if I did chaddurry.com, whatever we did, and I did sandydurry.com, it's going to give a little description, and it'll do this anywhere I paste it. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, I know that for me, it's been nice to embed it, and I'm trying to brand myself, and so that's what I've used, and it's worked out perfect. So if you've got any question, guys, just let me know, okay? Um, and that's it's easy. It's pretty easy, but let me know if you need help. Thanks.